From a distance or on the move, this elusive bird can be easily mistaken. A sparrowhawk, perhaps, or maybe a pigeon. But when you hear that call, you can be in no doubt that this is a cuckoo. The call of the cuckoo is a sound that's fading fast. In the last 25 years, we've lost over half of our breeding birds. And in the South Devon lowlands alone, that decline is something like 80%. But here on Dartmoor, they're determined to do something about it. Cuckoos come to Britain to breed, and they're notorious for laying their eggs in other birds' nests. Until recently, though, we knew very little about them once they left this country. But the British Trust for Ornithology is working with Dartmoor National Park to satellite tag four male Dartmoor cuckoos. Naomi Barker is a national park ecologist. What we're trying to understand mainly from this study is what happens to the birds on migration uh, because we have so little understanding of that. So the satellite tag will tell you something about the local movements on Dartmoor and it will tell you when they leave Dartmoor and then where Dartmoor birds go to migrate. Um, do they go via Spain, do they go via Italy, and then where in Africa do they go and when do they come back again? So far, they've only tagged 16 cuckoos from across the UK, so each Dartmoor bird they tag will shed new light on what's going wrong. Really, we're still gathering data as to what it could be that is causing the decline of the cuckoo, and then once we understand that, then hopefully we can do something about it so that you know, we will still hear cuckoos coming here in spring. This little bird is a meadow pipit, a common Dartmoor bird. They nest on the ground in long grasses. Unfortunately for the pipit, they're also the host species for the cuckoo. While the pipit's out gathering food, the female cuckoo will lay her egg in its nest and then leave the pipit foster parents to rear her chick which quickly outgrows the tiny pipit nest. These meadow pipits are doing their best to see off the cuckoo, but her size and stealth means that she will normally succeed eventually. Once they've mated, the males leave Dartmoor, and it's from this point onwards that they'll be tracked by satellite tags. <laughs> 